just told me Grandma Carter died. I didn't want her to die. I wanted her to get better. It hurts when someone you love passes away, but remember that your grandma is in heaven with Jesus. I'm Zach, and this is listener-supported Keys for Kids. Thanks for stopping by. Recently, I attended the funeral of a friend. When I think about him, I'm sad, of course, but I also remember the time that both he and I accepted Jesus as our Savior at Bible camp. So I know he's in heaven with Jesus right now. Do you know someone that's passed away? Remember, anyone who dies as a Christian goes to heaven, and one day we'll all be reunited together in a place where there's no more death, suffering, or crying. 1 Corinthians 15.43 says, Our bodies are buried in brokenness, but they will be raised in glory. Our story today is entitled, A Miraculous Change. What's that? asked Nevea when her brother showed her a pale green object dangling from a branch. Isn't it cool? said Dakota. It's called a chrysalis, and there's a caterpillar in there. Or at least, he used to be a caterpillar. Nevea frowned. I don't like caterpillars. As she went into the house, she saw her mother wiping tears from her eyes. What's the matter? Nevea asked. I just got a phone call, Mom said softly. Grandma Carter died. Oh, no! Nevea burst into tears. I don't want her to die. Mom took her into her arms. I know, honey. This is a sad day, but we can find comfort in knowing Grandma is in heaven with Jesus. Nevea and Dakota had never known anyone who had died. They were a little nervous when they went with their parents to the funeral home and walked up to the casket where Grandma lay. She looks like she's asleep, said Nevea softly. The next day, the kids attended the funeral service with their parents, and after the service, they all went to the cemetery. Nevea was quiet as they sat on the patio that afternoon. I thought Grandma was in heaven, but they put her in the ground, she said at last. As she spoke, Dakota came over carrying the branch with the chrysalis dangling from it. Only a thin, clear film remained. Look, he said, this is just an empty shell now. Mom nodded. The caterpillar spun a chrysalis around itself. After a while, it burst open and a beautiful butterfly came out. I love butterflies, said Nevea. They're much more beautiful than caterpillars. That's a good example of what has happened to Grandma, said Dad. Remember how sick she was? She has left her body and now it's like an empty chrysalis. It was buried in a grave today and Grandma's soul has gone to be with Jesus. But one day Jesus will resurrect Grandma's body and make it like new. And when that happens, Grandma will have a new body that will never get old or sick and will never die. Jesus will give us new bodies then too, bodies that will last forever. Just then, a butterfly fluttered past Nevea's house. Look, she exclaimed, a caterpillar in his new body. So how about you? Has someone you love died? The Bible teaches that those who trust in Jesus go to be with him when they die. Though their bodies are buried in a grave, they're not in them anymore. One day, when Jesus resurrects all Christians, he will give us wonderful new bodies, bodies much better than the old ones. Just like caterpillars get new bodies as butterflies, Jesus promises to raise Christians' bodies and make them new so they last forever. Our key verse is 1 Corinthians 15, 43. Our bodies are buried in brokenness, but they will be raised in glory. And our key thought today, Christians will have new bodies. Well, as always, my name is Zach. Thanks for taking the time to listen to Keys for Kids today. Don't forget to tell a friend about it, and I hope to see you both back here tomorrow. Tomorrow.